the specific heat of a metal lab, we are going to determine what the specific heat is of some tin shot. And the way that we do this is by using a very crude calorimeter, just a styrofoam cup that's going to have a determined amount of water inside. And we're going to heat up our um, tin metal in a hot water bath and then pour it into the cup. The cup is going to have water in it and it will get hot from this hot metal. And then we will go through and do some calculations to determine what it is. All right, so first things first, we have to figure out what the mass of our tin shot is. So we put this on the scale. The scale is going to read 3.16 grams. Zero that out to zero. And then we have 51.42 grams of our tin metal. 51.42 grams. Okay. We are going to pour the tin shot into this beaker right here and then suspend it over top of a hot water bath. I will pour some water into our beaker. We want to make sure that all of the metal is completely covered. And now we wait while it boils. While we wait for the water to boil for 10 minutes, um, we're going to leave it in the boiling water for 10 minutes so that um, we can assume the temperature of the metal is going to be 100 degrees Celsius. But while we wait, we're going to prepare our calorimeter. All right, so I'm going to take my water, it pours better this way, and measure out 100 milliliters of water. We'll get down at eye level. This is where we have exactly 100 milliliters. Great. And I'm going to pour it into my calorimeter. And place one of my thermometers inside the calorimeter. Ooh, it's on Fahrenheit. Yucky Fahrenheit. Let's make sure it's Celsius. We're going to leave it in there, and right before we add the hot metal to the calorimeter, we'll take the initial temperature. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, it has been 10 minutes since our water has been boiling. Okay. We can see that our water here is at 100 degrees Celsius. And we are going to pour that into our calorimeter, which is at 20.5 degrees Celsius. And what we're going to do is we are going to keep our calorimeter going and watch the temperature. So 20.6 degrees Celsius and see what the maximum temperature is going to be. All right, so I'm going to pick this up. I want to do this as quickly as possible as not to lose any heat to the surrounding. So all the heat is transferred from here into the calorimeter. Ready? Three, two, one, go. And we're going to watch. The temperature rises. Twenty two point five degrees Celsius and then it started to go back down. Okay, so we are going to walk through the calculations. 